Welcome everybody to the CEI live stream today. Today is uh, College of Eastern Idaho versus Coffeyville in Super Smash Bros. I'm joined here with, uh, if you want to introduce yourself. Well, <laughs> can you introduce yourself first? Hi, I'm joined here with Cameron. Oh, hey. And my name yeah. is Tucker. I'm Cameron. I forgot <laughs> to introduce myself, but I'm here with Tucker today. Oh, we're running good. the Smash Bros stream today. This is the, the nice open plus league. Uh, yeah, CEI versus the Ravens. Excited to see the games today. Looks like bans are going out. Yep. A little bit of stage banning happening right now just to get the very first match here in set number one. Lift off or lift it off the ground. I don't lift know. Lift off. Lift Three, off. two, one, lift off. Blast off, my friends. Blast off. Anyways, this is a best two out of three. So, first team to win two sets of matches will be the victor for today. And actually looking into Coffeyville, it seems like it's going to be a relatively competitive outing tonight. So I think CEI is going to have their work cut out for them. Um, they're coming off of a bye week, so there was no game last Thursday for the boys. So it's going to be, uh, are they going to come out hot or are they going to come out a little bit cold and just trying to find their footing? Because uh, the week, or excuse me, so this, this was two weeks ago at this point. Going up, against, going up against Lake Region State College. If you recall, Cameron, the stream that we had, silly, stupid, technical difficulties. Yes. Life goes on, though. Life goes on. That was a little bit of a smashing, and I, I'm not sure that it necessarily tested the team in, in the way that they might have needed mm -hmm. or wanted. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that today is going to be a little bit of a, of a clash for them first battle about to start we don't know who the players are just yet and this is actually for CEI CEI switch 5 that is going to be High Wraith coming High out Wraith on, the on the famous DDD the last time we saw DDD he just bullied people with his with his hammer going up against the young link so that's going to be a little bit of an interesting matchup because the young link has a lot of projectiles that is going to counter the Gordo, the spiky ball that King DD has, Mr. Big Bird himself. <laughs> Big Birdo himself, as you saw already there. The Gordo getting deflected from just a small little arrow. So many projectiles coming out from Link. Oh my goodness, and the grab. Already at 96% for high rate, only doing 12. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, in the air dodge. Not able to make it, and that'll be the first stock gone of the series. That's all right. Like I say, maybe a little bit of rust on the thumbs, on the fingers. On the fingies. It's going to be up to High Wraith here for CEI. Oh my goodness, To the recalibrate. And to try to level things up as soon as possible. That's a good Gordo coming out. Unfortunately, it does come back and hit him. That grab is just... Crazy on Link. So many projectiles. Link is just doing a great job. This neutral game, playing super far away, just using all of his utility to keep DDD at bay. Ooh, but there's a great up tilt from the DD. Way to get some damage in. Ooh. Great recovery. Good punish. I'm looking to set up another option here, and that's the hammer. High Wraith out here still playing baseball. We see this from week to week. He brings out the bird hammer and he put, takes out the young Link, evening it up at 11-11. However, High Wraith still at 126%. So, he's going to have to do his very best and survive for as long as possible. Try to get a high percentage out on Coffeeville's young Link player. He's dancing around, dodging all of the utility. Oh, a good Gordo. Oh, this is the roll. Oh, there's the gold. Oh, but the boomerang comes back and barely saves him. Good shield. Great shields, actually, back and forth between CEI and Coffeeville. Oh, gosh. Doesn't kill. That's a great, great DI there. With the neutral air as well. Back to back neutral uh, airs there. Unfortunate. Gordo. Oh, that was such a that was such a close dodge. Holy. High Wraith is and he looked a little shaky at the start, but he's definitely picking up performance now. He will lose another stock. But he's looking pretty pretty good right now. 
Once again, the arrow spam coming up from Link, but there's going to be the grab. Oh, looking for the hammer. Oh, but he's just going to commit to it. Oh, barely misses. Oh my goodness, the spam from the Link. Using all the utility. Oh my goodness, and that's going to take him out, bringing wow, okay. it within one. 10-10. DDD being, you know, heavier, percentage is not necessarily a massive worry at this point. There's still an opportunity here for High Wraith to finish this match one out on top. But I think it's going to have to take a little bit of patience from him. Maybe a little bit uh, too eager there with the gold. As he uh, takes a little bit more damage up to 142% leak. Only at 57. Oh, but there's a great neutral air there. Oh, and the forward tilt 95%. Will he be able to take him out? Oh, and there's the upbeat from Leak. Still not enough though. Oh, and the up tilt gonna take out High Wraith. All things considered, that could have gone significantly worse there for High Wraith on the King DDD. Really well played by Coffeeville's Young Link, doing Young Link things for sure. However, if we remember that very first stock uh, for High Wraith on the side of CEI, I think Young Link only had 12% It might have been. in total damage. So to, to come back and still have it relatively close like that, I think that was a good recovery overall. To be down one stock right now, like I say, could have been significantly worse. True, true, true. And honestly, I think that's one of the better, better outcomes you can get as a starting player. To be able to get two stocks, bring it within one. Hopefully the next player, whoever they bring out, whoever CGI brings out, is able to just clean up and move on to the next one, break, keeping it even. Nothing yet as far as bans go, but... Okay. Honestly, I'm not gonna be biased or anything, but I think High Wraith did super good there. Into a young, young Link. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not Toon Link. It's Young Link. So Young Link with a lot of projectiles, I feel like would do a lot better in a DD. I feel like he should lose two to one or something. But he was able to keep it within one, which is honestly a good performance overall for a start. Looks like we're gonna be sending in Alkyria on Sephiroth. Interesting. Sephiroth does do big damage, so I wonder if they're, he's just gonna hurry and clean him up. Looks like we're banning small battlefield and battlefield. So we'll have to pick from the remaining maps. That's interesting. I think that they, yeah, they get three. Oh, yeah, they do say, get there's three. There's only two bands there, both battlefields off the board. My guess is FD. They're banning FD. FD is one of my favorite maps. Hmm. I just think it's so, like, aesthetically pleasing. The R style is super nice. Yeah. I'm also, uh, I used to play, what is it, Brawl? The one on the Wii? Hmm. That final destination, so good. <laughs> they did ban FD. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> One of my all-time favorites. Do you want to hear a funny story? Sure. Do you want to hear a funny story? One time. Well, I guess not one. It was one time. My brother, when we first got <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii, we stood up for 15 hours straight to beat the story. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. It was one of the best times of my life. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game, which might be the second best time of my life. <laughs> good good save. Yeah. Good transition, my friend. Yeah, thank you, thank well, you. Well, I've been working on it. Go! Oh, I was like, what the heck is this? But he will have to SD twice. I forget about that. It scares me every time. For those that are not familiar, because uh, Young Link lost two stocks or two lives in that first matchup versus High Wraith, they have to come back into this game with only one stock. Therefore, he has to run off the stage two times. Two, those times. Nine to ten right now. CEI down one stock. It's going to be up to Sephiroth or Alkyria playing on the CEI switch number five. 
<laughs> to keep this as clean as yeah, possible. Yeah, we'll how many switches there are. Anyway, Sephiroth. Oh my goodness. Is that an up kill? The up kill's going crazy. The up B, not landing. Oh my goodness. Might be a little deeper there, but he will get the counter. Already up to 64%. Kerry is just playing super aggressive. He knows that he only has to take one stock. True. Again, keeping this as clean as possible is the name of the game. Do not let the Coffeeville lead get too out of hand. And so far, not so bad. He is keeping it even. Oh. Good delay there. And the down smash. Oh, but he will get grabbed up to 98%. He should be careful there. Oh, good. I forget jab. the sword. The sword's too long, man. <laughs> the it sword goes is through the so platform. Long. It's a good shield. Able to mitigate some of that damage there. Does get the little clicky click off on the young Link. I don't know the name. I can't remember. Oh, no, it's a snap. He snaps it onto him. Oh, and there's his wings. He's sponsored by Goldfish. The snap. The snack. <laughs> the snap that smiles, smiles back. back. The snap that smiles back. The in this snap that smiles back. I see. I see. Sephiroth will lose one stock though, so it will be 10 to 8. Let's see if he can keep it. Within one, he is at 111%, misses the neutral B. And Lincoln is playing so patient here with all of the utility. Oh. Just taking advantage of the opportunities to, uh, to punish after the end of Alkyria's moves on Sephiroth. Well, it's going to be up to Alkyria here to try to find an opening. Oh. And is able to do so. Wow, well done. The back, the back tilt. Sephiroth. Back air? I think it's back air. Back air, I, I want to say. Thanks to everybody tuning in this evening. If you're not following the channel, please, please drop us a follow here on the Twitch. If you're not following any of the other social medias, feel free to show some love on those platforms as well. We're on YouTube and Instagram. Instagram. That's right. That is right. CI Falcons on all of those. I'm sure you'll find us. Go check us out. But honestly, within one, Sephiroth will lose one stock, but it will be, what is that, 8 to 9? 8 to 9, that's eight right. To nine. Looks like they'll be sending a pit. A Yato on his pit. We've faced some pit players in the past. And I don't know how they did. I feel like they were pretty good into CES. For the most part, I felt like they were handled relatively well in rosters gone gotcha. by. Um, this season thus far, I, I can't recall if we faced a pit. Maybe. Uh, I, I I feel like no. There is a correction. It's a dark pit. Oh, dark pit. So okay. Sorry. That changes we gotta, everything. <laughs> time to panic. Hit the panic <laughs> button. Apparently, we yeah. can't handle a dark pit. We can handle a pit, but dark pit is too scary. Too scary, man. He's dark. And it looks like we're banning Battlefield, Smashville, and Hollow Bastion. Okay. Okay. All the super flat maps being banned out. They're gonna go PS2. Pokemon Stadium 2. I never played Pokemon Stadium. They seem pretty fun though. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I used to be a Pokemon kid. Ready? Used to be that uh, Piplup player. There that was go. me. There I was a Piplup starter, if you ever wondered. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Questions are being answered. That says a lot about me, huh? <laughs> I'm the water starter type. Three, so, uh, it's crazy. One, Whatever that says about go! me and my aura. Uh, <laughs> all right, anyways, Alkyria. Alkyria, do not SD again. Thank you. Oh, did he do that in the past? I think <laughs> yeah, he accidentally he did that took last game. The past, yeah. yeah, and at that point, sorry. Yeah, once you make luck. the play. Oh my goodness. Playing really aggressive there. Leaving himself pretty vulnerable there. Unfortunately, the Dark Pit not able to capitalize on that. That said, a little nice little combo coming out. Good dodge from Alkyria on Sephiroth. Nice counter. Good grab. Ooh, up tilt not quite landing. 
But Kiryu is looking really confident in this matchup. Huge counter once again. Neutral B going out. Doesn't land. Okay, with the recovery, the down tilt not landing. And they're just playing super neutral. I couldn't tell if the pit was doing something weird there, but he just decides to go in. Doing quite a bit of damage, bringing out Gary up to 34%. There's the spike, but it's not going to spike him off the edge. Oh, Ooh, tries to get a crab, but Pit will grab. Oh, great up B. And that's going to take him down. So we are all tied up, actually, right now. 8 to 8. Now, Curry's doing a great job looking super confident this time around. He is going to want to try to keep percentage as low as possible, and he moves into this second stock onto Dark Pit. Just to really try to keep things as even as possible. Kind of seeing a lot of repetition out. There's a lot of down airs coming out, and likewise, Dark Pit able to punish on the side of Coffeeville. Yeah, I was worried about him using the, uh, the down tilt quite a lot. As it has a lot of end lag. Yes, he's up to 111%, but not going down yet. Oh, tries to land. Didn't quite get there. Nice idea. Ooh. That looked a little scary for that, a that, that did feel a little sketchy. My heart dropped for a moment. 140%. Good forward air. Oh, the shield's coming out. Oh, and the neutral air from Pit is going to take out Okiria, bringing him down to seven stocks. Oh my goodness, the combos from Dark Pit to drag down neutral airs. Oh, that was great. Great little combo there, right? Coming up from Dark Pit. I shouldn't say combo. Pretty significant, honestly. 55 damage. 56, 60, 70. Wow. Able to recover his Alkyria to the ledge there, but then the onslaught continues. It's going to be up to him to at least grab one more stock here before he's sent back to the lobby. Interesting. Oh, I don't know why it makes me so nervous. Oh, and the side smash is going to take him out. Nice try. CEI will be down two stocks, but nothing CEI can't handle. All right, do we think we send out a red comment? Or do you think he's angering today? Uh, that's a wonderful question. My gut says he's angering. Your gut says he's angering? My gut says he's angering today. I don't know why. I feel like they're going to send him out. I feel like he, he wants to play. He's been eager to play. That's fair. I mean, that's a good point. Lake... Oh, uh, the matchup, their last matchup two weeks ago versus Lake Region State College. He did only play the very first set um, and then subbed himself out to allow for other players to get some experience. Oh, okay. Okay. Cameron knows something I don't. He's in tune. Dude, Crazy. I just know. Just I, know man. I got the vibes. Red Comet will be sent out on the cloud. And they're going to be going to Battlefield. Interesting. Okay, okay. Ready? So, Dark Pit or... Ooh, hello. Psych. They got scurred. Thought we were going back in, but we're not. That's okay. Thank you, Constant Johns, for the follow. Ready? 
as we get into this next game. Dark Pit for Coffeeville. Player one. Gonna have to SD only one time here. Don't SD again. Don't pull an Alkyria. Whoa. Not to throw some shade or anything, but uh. Shade has been thrown. Shade has been thrown. Sorry to catch that stray. Red Comet looking for the up the outer shield, but Dark Pit looking to punish already. The Those music is going crazy right now. Whoever <laughs> selected the track. My guess is Red Comet. Red Comet is feeling it. He's feeling energized. Super edgy, man. So far, not a lot of damage traded back and forth. Both characters sitting at roughly similar percentages, I say that, and now Red Comet starting to open up the damage. Red Comet with the tunes in the background, it's really feeling it. Oh, that hit with those multi hit attacks are so damaging. Oh, and he will get his limit break. Oh, doesn't land the limit, but he does get the uppy out of shield. His cloud is just so fast moving around the map. Okay, neutral once again. Pit is just playing so cautious. He has that 89%. The neutral edge from Pit are just so crazy. Oh, he will grab. Kama is off the edge. I don't know if he's able to come from that. No tech is going to come out. That will be a stock loss. Bring him down to five stocks. Do we sound off the, uh, the bells now? The alarms? Is it panic mode? I'm starting to panic just a little bit. This pit is looking ruthless. Playing it really well. He's playing so safe, so patient. It's going to be up to Red Comet to try to re-establish presence here on the stage. Smart. Saw that he had no no invincibility left there on the ledge. Went to go say hello for a brief moment there. He slid and said hello. I was going to say slid into the DMs, but that didn't seem appropriate. So anyways. <laughs> so he says it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Found with the limit break. Just sitting on the edge so far. Pidge is playing, trying to play safe as possible. Doesn't land the limit break. Pidge is once again playing the edge guard. Red Comet is able to make it back. But Pidge, once again, still just playing so safe. Sitting at 140%. down doesn't get the elimination oh my goodness. red comet needs to kill as fast as possible and there it is that's huge bring him down to seven stocks we're still within two red comet really needs to turn the tides here to bring the momentum back in his favor he does have limit oh great grab Oh, looking for the smash. So that limit break. I think he's going to try to look for the kill. There Let's go. Four percent. This has been a great momentum shifter for Red Comet so far. He was looking like he didn't know how to play against the pit, but he's understanding now in the up. He had a shield. Oh my goodness, in the up tilt. He's doing so much. Already at 112%. There you go. Ray Comet just has so much pressure right now. Oh, that shield is so close to breaking. I thought that was going to break for sure. The neutral game from Red Comet is pristine right now. Oh my goodness, dodges the grab. Dodges. Oh, but misses the upbeat. A little bit of a scary position because now he has to try to recover the neutral ground. Is able to do so. Thought maybe for a second there's an opportunity for Pit to punish, and I say that, and there is. There it able is. to capitalize. That up tilt from Pit is just too strong with the multi hits. Uh -oh. 
There's a 150%. This is kill range for Red Comet. He just needs to land it. Oh, it's so close wow, every time. The shield. Oh, and there it is. The back air from Cloud taking out the dark pit. That said, though, still a two stock lead for Coffeeville. So, our third player on their very last life, very last stock, and Coffeeville just barely sending in their third player. So, there is quite a bit of work to do here on Red Comet on his very last stock. Red Comet would kind of have to sweep here to bring the, the lead back in CI's favor. Or it's going to be a big job for whoever they send out as their anchor. I believe at this point, based on who they checked in, it would be Dust. Dust with the... Dust as the anchor. The arms. Potentially, yeah. That's what we're speculating. Min Min, actually. I call her arms, but her name is actually Min Min. player is going to be a Terry. Uh, Terry being on the side of Coffeeville. Yeah. It looks like we will be banning Small Battlefield, Smashville, and Hollow Bastion. ready teased yet again that's tough dude why are they doing this to me we'll be going to final destination red comet will have to sd twice before this Two, next game one, starts. Go! <laughs> Once again, immaculate tunes. <laughs> Whoever's in charge of the Ox is doing a great job in the up out of shield on a Terry. Only landing half of it, but the combo is already coming out from Red Comet. He's playing so aggressive here. The four tail coming out. Oh my goodness, the Appiata Shield. So much pressure from both players. But so far, oh, the crab. But a better shield coming out from Red Comet. That Appiata Shield is so crazy. Okay, we'll be able to make it back through stage, but Red Comet not giving him any space at all. Oh my that's goodness. a great punish. And that's a huge stomp taking for Red Comet. Bringing it within one. He does have the limit break. And there it is. He's just going to land it. Getting in that shift damage. It's in the game super close. Ooh. But Terry's doing a little bit of a switch up here. Red Comet wasn't expecting it. We'll take a little bit more damage. But the LB out of shield once again. Old reliable. Oh my goodness. Red Comet with the read. The two up tilts. Oh, Terry. We'll get the air dodge. Yes, go. Oh my goodness, but Red Comet is reading him like Let's a book. Oh, Red Comet. Well done. Tying it up 4-4 four to four already. Oh my goodness, in the up B. It only did 14 damage, but that's okay. Oh, I don't know if he can recover from that. I don't think that. he can. That's so uh, unfortunate. And that will be Red Comet taken out. Okay. But he did bring it within one. So I'm assuming, if I'm not mistaken, Dust on the Min Min will come out. And we'll have to take out four stocks total. True. All, all he can do is one stock at a time, right? So the Terry, only one more stock. And then we're on even even playing ground. True. It's just a matter of taking care of business from there. Yeah, so it will be Dust on the Min Min. That is confirmed. And they are going to be banning Smashville, Town and City, and Hollow Bastion once again. And we 
we'll be going back to Final Destination. Ready? As we get to the next game, Terry will have to SD twice. Just Three, to even it back two, up. One, go! Hold up. <laughs> that looked a little sketchy for a second. I was like, wait one minute. He's being cheeky. How about that? There we go. New notes coming out. The match will start. Full oh, Minmin getting blocked with the shields. Terry already off to a great lead. With about a 40% lead. Chess is going to have to try to establish the neutral game here. Oh my goodness. That Terry combo. Try to keep the distance on Minmin. He hopes to try to make things really difficult for Terry. Oh my gosh, he actually made it back. I didn't think he was going to be able to make it back. But that range is crazy, Terry. Once again with the recovery, wow. that's you're gonna be it. Dust able to make quick work of this Terry's last stock, making it even, heading to this last match of the first series. That's right. This will be. No, you're right. I know. I know. That sounded weird coming out of my you. mouth. No, you're good. I see you looking confused. <laughs> you're you're totally right. <laughs> This is the last match here in set number one. Winner takes all. Set, that's the word I should have said, not serious. No, you're good. I knew that sounded a little bit weird. Yes, of the first set, not the series. Whoever wins this match here in set number one will take the series lead though. True. There true, we go, true. there, there we, we go. go. We recovered, we recovered. We did. All right, any predictions on who the last player is going to be? Ganondorf. Dude, I was going to say Donkey Kong. Oh, were you? Okay, fair enough. We're both thinking the same thing. Heavy character. I feel like it's got to be. I feel like I saw... I don't know. I feel like... Coffeeville? Ganondorf? Coffeeville? DK? Sure. I get what you're saying. I, I, I get what you're saying. I mean, there's literally no correlation there between <laughs> the two things that I'm saying, but why not? Yeah, why not? Who knows, bro? Maybe uh, Donkey Kong just drinks coffee, you know? The jitter juice. The jitter juice. We're both getting the vibes of a Tinky character, so hopefully we're right. I want to be right so bad. I already got one prediction. I got the dust and the red comet. Oh, I, uh, make it three. You said uh, they're going to ban out FD. Oh, uh, yeah, point. you're right, you're yeah. right. You're just a genius. I'm just three steps ahead. Big ol' five head over here. Everyone's playing checkers while I'm playing chess. To be honest, it just sounds like you're playing the wrong game. Yeah, now <laughs> you're playing like freaking Mon Cola yeah. while everyone's playing checkers. I'm playing Chinese checkers while everyone else is playing checkers. I'll... Man, that's a, that is a throwback. I haven't played that game. Since I was probably like eight. I think we're just waiting for uh, Coffeeville to announce their next player in the game chat. And then I want to say stage banning will follow. having a team meeting they're having a hype up moment <laughs> they just need a second <laughs> no no <laughs> way did you know yeah i knew oh, okay i was about to say i was about to say no I, way yeah, i was watching some coffeeville games i kind of figured that there might have been a, a ganondorf out there hey i, I wasn't 100 percent certain but i was like i was like 80 Honestly, okay, 90% sure <laughs> that it was going to be. Okay, that makes so much more sense. Book. I was so in shock. I was like, no way. <laughs> hey, I was kind of on the same vibe, though. Donkey Kong, Ganondorf. True. Same kind of vibe. Yeah. Looks like we will be banning Small Battlefield, Hollow Bastion. 
in Smashville. Sir. We're just gonna leave it up to Coffeeville to select the stage. The last stage. Ooh, we'll be going to Battlefield. Interesting, interesting. Ready? Neither character needs to SP or eliminate stocks. We're just going to be battling it out right off the rip. He's going purple Ganon. He's not blue dwarf. That's I've crazy. been told that blue dwarf is the strongest One, Ganon. Go! The biggest and baddest of the dwarfs. Ganondorf can be kind of scary. I feel like if the Ganondorf is good, he can just mop the floor with them. True, it's only going to be a couple big hits needed to really punish the Min Min. So far, things are getting a little uncomfortable. 45% yeah. for Min Min. He just needs to keep the range. If he's able to keep Ganon at range here and play the mid super well. Oh, the parry into the downbeat from Ganon. Doing a great job with the pressure. But Dust, feeling confident, already has Ganon at 88%. Still, I think it is going to take a little bit more than that just because of how heavy Ganondorf is. That said, Dust and Min Min, lots of, lots of options here to make life kind of difficult for the Ganondorf. We're looking for the back arrow and the grab from Ganon. Back arrow! Oh my gosh, Dust barely able to the eye out of that one. It's a good ledge option there. We want to continue to mix that up, but the spike is insane. Not able to hit there. May have been a little bit too over eager there. Jumped off the edge. Ganon staying up in Mimin's face, which is where she's weak. Oh. Ganon barely able to DI out of that one. Will he be able to recover? Oh my gosh. How? How? He knows the secret Ganon tech that I don't know about. Oh, missing the side smash. Both characters dodging back and forth, not able to land anything. Ganon in full panic mode. Oh, crap. Spot dodge. Spot dodge. Okay. Oh my goodness, 176% okay. for Ganon. Oh, and the warrior is just going to take out Dust. CI down to two, but it's so close. There we go. Side okay. and there it is, evening it up. Ganon just hits so hard. There's gonna have to be some patience here. Thankfully, Ganon not the fastest of characters, but once he's able to get in and find attacks on Min Min, he just hits so hard. To be fair, Ganon is one of those heavy characters that doesn't have a lot of super armor, so a lot of his moves can't get countered by just brunt force. That's true. But we'll just have to see how Min Min plays this out. Already at 69% for Ganon. Ganon not being scared, just playing super aggressive, looking for the neutral air. But nothing lands yet. Minion just keeping him at a distance. That was a huge grab. Their dodge already coming out. Ganon will be able to recover. Looking for the down B and the wow. grab, but it's not going to land. Minion playing super aggressive. Oh, and I think that poke is going to do it. I don't think he's going to be able to well recover. Well played. Well played, Dust. Dust bringing it to one stock on the Ganondorf. Oh, but Ganon with the down B once again. Oh, Ganon chasing off the ledge. Feeling super confident. He doesn't want this this second stock for Dust to go on much longer. He needs to try to even it up as quickly as possible. So I can understand the chase there, but a great little combo coming out from Dust on Min Min. Ganon once again. Still just playing super aggressive. Huge grab into the kick. Playing super aggressive. He knows that he has to play in Min Min's face, and there it is. One to one stock. This is as close as you can get, folks. One stock in the first set. Oh, Ganon with the four tail looking for the grab, but it's not gonna land. Min Min gets the grab, and there's the punches. But Ganon should be able to recover. Oh, looks for the grab, but it doesn't land. 80% on the Ganon. Both players playing oh, so patient. Can I come to grab? Dust is doing a great job keeping him at bay. And there's the back throw. Looking for the poke off the edge. And Ganon will be able to recover. He has a 120%. Oh my! Dust taking 
set number one for CEI. Ending the first set with a one stock lead. Well played to Dust. Holy. Well what played to Coffeeville too. Close game. Honestly, that was huge from Dust. That was literally as close as you can get in a series like this. Coffeeville brings it all the way. One to one. CEI will come out on top for game number one, so it will be heading into game number two. Stocks will reset 12 to 12. Looks like we are going to be taking a little bit of a break. Players requesting to have a little bit of a five minute breather there. Just looking to reset and game plan heading into set number two. So, with that call, we will just turn on the vibey tunes and we're going to take a little break, grab some water, I suggest. Y'all do the same, stay hydrated, and we will be back in about five.
my goodness, we're hopping already into the game. <laughs> we're back from the break, instantly hopping into the game. It looks like the first player being sent out will be High Wraith on the Yoshi and Terry. Three, two, Stocks one, will reset back go, to 12. <laughs> This is a new pick for High Wraith, newly picked up, so we'll have to see how he goes. Oh my goodness. Something that I hate about this pick, I was playing against it earlier. The Yoshi air combos are absolutely insane. Oh wow, Gosh. what a punish to from High Wraith earlier. Already bringing it up to 81%. Alright, just doing a great job here. Oh my goodness. He's just reading this Terry. Oh my goodness, and blocks the go meter. Uh, what? Yoshi shield is OB. Okay. Down air. Terry doing a little bit of damage back, bringing Yoshi up to 34%, but that the egg throw keeping Terry at bay so far. Still at 130%. Oh my goodness, and Terry with the combo. Brings it closer. Tries to land the size 13. Doesn't land. <laughs> I just realized what you said. The size 13. <laughs> Stop it. You did not. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. High Wraith calls Yoshi's forward tilt size 13 because he grows a big old boot. All so right. I'm calling it size 13. Fair enough. I like it. Anyways, I rate up to 115%. He's going to be able to recover. And I rate taking the first stock. Oh my goodness, that Terry combo. Just does so much damage, Yoshi, with the down. The down tilt, I'm assuming. Oh my goodness, and Terry just punching the Yoshi off the edge. Bringing it even. 11 to an 11. Looks like the vibe is kind switched up. Terry is just playing super patient, waiting for Yoshi to walk up. And then does the side beam move. Oh my goodness. Oh, well there you go, High Wraith. That's the combo you need. Not giving Terry any wow. space. Oh, Terry with the poke, though. <laughs> the light, bro. It gets me every time. Good punish. A little bit of an opening there for Highway to be able to punish it with Terry. Oh, able to spot dodge that as well. Crazy. That, wow, that hitbox is crazy. Yeah, that's that's incredible. That go meter on Terry is so strong. Oh, and there it is. Highway once again bringing it even. 10 to 10. These games have been so close. Oh my goodness, but that Terry combo, like 36, green up to 54. There you go, High Wraith. Hit him with that air combo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. High Wraith is straight cooking. Who put this man in the kitchen? Terry, we'll get some trades back. We're putting him at 93%. But if Yoshi's able to just keep him in the air. Oh my gosh, bring him to 90. Oh my gosh. High Wraith is bringing this so close up to 115%. Oh, there there you go. go. Oh, Smash is going to take him out. Well played, High Wraith. The tide is turning a little bit. He was upset. He was upset after his last <laughs> match. He, he said, you know upset. what, DD? Get out of here, you big bird. You goofball. You goofball. I'm bringing out the Yoshi. And this time I'm taking... Match number one. Yeah, who needs Gordos when you have a Yoshi egg? This is true. And the size 13 <laughs> purple Jordans. And that's the crazy. purple Jays. Thank you, Cooley, for the follow. Appreciate each and every one of you for coming out and supporting the team today.
anyways. <clears throat> Hi Wraith, popping off with the Yoshi. Newfound pick, might have found his stride and his energy that he needs. There we go, man. What a comeback. See, I have one stock. And it looks like they will be sending out the Young Link next. And we will be banning Final Destination Cops in Smashville. We're going to be playing on small battlefield in this next game. So High Wraith will have to SD one time before this next match. No, twice. Ready? Take himself down to one stock. But he will have to SD twice. Against the Young Link. Three, just see two, any sword. One, go! <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling goofy. Apparently. I was confused for a moment. I am less confused now. Get off that stage, you goofy dinosaur. Alright, the emotes come out. And that's gonna be the start of the next match. Young Link doing his very best to try and keep as much space as possible. But Yoshi is just all up in Young Link's face, not giving him any space at all. Huge dodge on the forward smash and the- Oh my goodness, the up tilts are so disgusting. Already up to 61%. Oh my gosh, the huge dodges. Young Link having to get away from that. He will get a grab. Throw Yoshi off the edge, but Yoshi has a great recovery. Oh my gosh, that arrow spam. It's filthy. It's filthy. It is filthy. He spams the arrows, keeping him off the edge. He goes for the... Thanks for saving him. Sorry. Oh my gosh. No, you're chilling. The young Luke just playing so aggressive. Trying to get as much space as possible. But High Wraith looking super confident in this next match. He knows that if he can get the stock, he'll put his team at a huge advantage. Oh my gosh. I thought that was it right there. Gets the forward tilt. Oh, and the egg throw. Just for the BM. Oh my gosh. There's the size 13. And that's just it. He misses the ledge. And that's going to be a two stock lead. Going over to CEI. Alright, High Wraith. What can you cook up? You're at 150%. Let's see if he's able to do any more here. It's the egg throw. Oh, barely misses. That shield is so strong. Gets the trade with the egg. Oh, but the up tilt from Link will take him out. Young Link wins. Bringing it back within one. But High Wraith was able to take a stock off the Link, which is... That's huge. That's big. What a huge lead from High Wraith. Getting four stocks. It's just, it's just better than moving forward as, as we move into these later matches here in set number two that CEI not be on the back foot. True. CEI was on the back foot all of last game. So having that advantage should comfort them just a little bit. I think so. I think it gives a any buffer. Any buffer for the guys is, is going to be what they're after. I think that they do better playing from ahead uh, with with that kind of a lead rather than you know trying to come from behind we're just waiting for picks and bands to come out and it looks like we will be sending back in Okaria on the Sephiroth Looks like we will be heading over to PS2. Young Link will have to SD one time Three, to bring it two, to the correct one, amount of stocks. Go. I know that. Alkyria. Kind of hoping, I think, was hoping rather that he could, you know, come up against the uh, young Link again. I think he felt like that he could do a better job than he did the first time around. Because as, as we remember, he did, they did face off in set number one. That is true. 
However, at that point in time, it was only Alkyria having to take on one stock, or, or rather, to finish one stock on the Young Link. Alkyria missing a few abilities here. Oh my goodness. Already up to 80%. He's able to make it back. There are the wings. But this young one is doing a very good job of just keeping the map pressure. Not giving Alkyria any space at all. Oh, and that back throw is going to be a little bit scary. Alkyria will have to make it back. We'll be able to grab the ledge. And there's the arrow spam coming out from the link. Oh, not quite getting the shield. That was a great shield, though. That could have been death right there for Alkyria. However, he continues to live on here with 138%. That being said, only 17%, now 41 to the young Link. Trying to reestablish his presence here on this stage. Trying to take care of a little bit of business here. Oh. You do not want to give away this stock just like this. Oh my goodness. That was a great counter into the neutral B. Oh, but the young Link will take a stock. Making it even. But <laughs> you, you say that, the, right? The instant <laughs> trade. <laughs> now, Kyria does need to be careful about that. Uh, the down tilt. He's been doing it quite often. I'm wondering it's going to put him in some trouble. Who tries to get the counter, but Young Link just with the grab into the up B. Bringing some good damage on Kyria. This Young Link is just doing a great job. Once again, I'm just using the map pressure, using all the utility to put out Kyria in an awkward spot. Oh, tries to get the up B. Yeah. So again, we find ourselves in a similar position here as it was for uh, Alkaria last stock, where high percentage on him and not a lot to show for for Young Link, still sitting on 27%. So he does have some work to do here in order to try to keep this as clean as he possibly can. That being said, Young Link is just doing such a good job of punishing the openings that are being presented right now. Oh, able to stay alive, still at 159%. The DI, all the way to the up in the forward tilt, into up B, trying to catch him on the ledge. He's at 160%, such a dangerous number. Uses the down tilt once again. Oh, but the up B. Careful. He needs to be so careful, and he will get punished. And the stocks will be made even. Only 50% on the link. Oh my goodness, huge neutral B. Oh! And he rolls right into it, making it one stock lead for Alkyria. Honestly, a huge neutral B there. I didn't think he was going to land. I thought he was going to be able to roll out of it, but he wasn't able to. So did I. Wow. Extremely unfortunate, but honestly, like, really well played by Alkyria there on the Sephiroth. Really well played there by the young Link. CEI able to take care of business and able to hold on to the one stock lead true Alkyria getting his revenge on the young link from last last match all right it looks like it's gonna be Ganon being sent out next and the bands are gonna be small battlefield hollow bastion and normal battlefield Looks like we will be going to Smashville. Interesting matchup for sure. If that Ganon's able to just stay within the reach. I feel like he was able to do really well last match. But as soon as he got outside the, the range of his character, he kind of fell off. Alkyria on the Sephiroth, gonna have to SD 
twice two, here. One, go! One more. You had to think about it. She had to make sure. True. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. We're back into it. Good day. The taunts, the emotes coming out. Oh, in with the down throw into the forward tilt. Oh. Oh my goodness. Alkiri needs to be so careful here. Ganon just playing all up in his face on such a small map. The down tilt will come out. Ganon just playing really safe. Great counter there from Alkiri. Oh, tries to hit the neutral B. Ganon barely able to dodge out of it. The up B coming out from Alkiri and it will land. Okay. Ganon being sent how far away. There's the neutral B coming. Oh, and it does land, taking him to 110%. Oh, tried to get the up smash, but it doesn't land. Good dodge, and though. Shield. Gotta be careful with big moves like that for Sephiroth, for Alkyria, Ganon. Shown in set number one that he can punish things like that, but that's a good down maneuver. But the big, the big punch. The forward tilt from Ganon, taking out Alkyria's last stock. Tying it up for CI in Coffeeville. As I kind of mentioned, if uh, Ganon's able to get within close quarters with his small arms, he can really pack a punch. They're kind of big arms. You know, they're bigger than my arms. Hey, I got I got little twigs. And My arms don't go that far. Ganon, <laughs> Ganon's kind of built. Ooh, okay. So keeping the same order as last time. However, different character coming out for CEI. It will be Joker. Red Comet on the Joker. Kind of set that backwards. A little bit anticlimactic, my bad. <laughs> it's going to be Joker. Red Comet's Joker. He used to have used to play Joker a lot more in previous seasons, but he's been focusing his cloud. So it's interesting to see the Joker come back out. Looks like we're just waiting for fans. Oh, it looks like we're going to be playing Hollow Bastion. Ready? It's all tied up going into this next match. You know, I was hoping that we could Three, break away, create a little two, bit of a distance, create one, some distance go. rather. Coffeeville. Hang it in. Holding on. Keep it giving us another really close game. That's a great grab, though. Coming out from Red Comet early. Ganondorf able to trade, but because he's a big boy, does a little bit more damage there. It's for like twice the damage. For Red Comet just playing safe. It's a little bit more poke damage and keeping him in an awkward spot. But Ganon putting in the pressure, looking for the dash attack. Doesn't land. Great shield from Red Comet there, but the down B. There's Arsene for Red Comet. It's going to give him a lot more pressure. Ganon just side B's off the edge of the map. Red Comet definitely going to want to take advantage of this Arsene moment just because he's not going to be able to hit as hard without it otherwise. Will in the back air. Oh, and just trying to keep Ganon off the edge there of the air. Great punish. Using the pistol to his advantage and Ganon's weak recovery. Taking another stop. Great shield. Able to punish off of that as well. And the grab. Well done. Oh, the drag down out there, but he falls below the platform. Ganon just 
just doing his very best to try to do this Joker. This down B is gonna land. Oh, but Joker with a great recovery. He's gonna be able to keep the pressure, but the forward tilt is gonna take out Red Comet's next stock. Keeping it within the stock. Oh, huge cancel there for Red Comet. Yeah, the neutral as well. Oh, great dodge. Traded hits right there. Interesting. Again, it is at 96%. He's getting up there. Comet is playing so safe. He's so much faster than Ganon. He's playing this neutral game so well. There's Arson. Oh, not able to punish there. That's a great shield coming up. Endorf. Oh, tries to land it down deep. Ganon just trying to take any map pressure that he can. That's wow, just going to take him out. It's huge from Red Kama there. Way to get the pressure. Already getting him up to 30% on his last stock. Huge throw. Into the forward tilt, the up B coming out from Ganon, but he will be able to recover. And there's the down B, putting more pressure on the Joker. CEI, red comment, goes low. Able to recover, but Ganon with the pressure. Oh, goes for the dash attack. Ganon with the oh, down two. Great comment is in Ganon's head. He has all the reads right now. Huge. Way to stop the down B. He's be so careful in that neutral air from the Ganon taking him out. Still within one stock. Alright, Red Comet, can you finish it off here? He's at 96%, but Ganon with the down B hits so hard. Oh, huge what a parry. there off the edge but it's not gonna land he's about to get arson so he will be strong oh my gosh he doesn't break the shield that was so scary oh and ganon will fall so red comet taking all three stocks for ganondorf that is actually huge because if we remember there was a dark pit who's put in quite a bit of work in set number one i'm curious if they go back to that dark pit or if they bring out something different. Yeah, a different character. This is their last character, right? That is correct. This is College Coffeeville. Yeah, Coffeeville Community College. Coffeeville Community College. The word college just slipped out of my mouth. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> For both. We are both colleges. <laughs> so Coffeeville on their last player, CEI on 1.3, <laughs> I guess, yeah, <laughs> you're right. 1.3 repeating. Yeah, that's right. We're just waiting for picks and bands. You know what's going to be crazy if I predict this? They're gonna send out Pikachu. I feel like it's gonna be Rob. You think it's gonna be Rob? I'm rolling the dice. Roll I'm the betting dice. on black. You're right. I should have known. <laughs> I heard them talking about it. I just. Something was speaking to me about Pikachu, though. Interesting. So we'll be Ayato. Ayato. Ayato on I the know, Rob. <laughs> Against Red Comet on his last stock. Looks like we will be banning Kalos. Final destination. And town and city.
Looks like we will be going to small battlefield. This is the last hope for Coffeeville. The Rob. The Robot Rob. Plays a really good Rob. I haven't seen him play. I so I'm excited. Ten, ten stocks in a row in one of their matches on Rob. He took ten stocks. I believe so. What an MVP. Truly. The blue colored Rob. Three, two, one. Alright, Red Comet will have to edge twice at the start of this match. <laughs> cool. I don't know why that's so funny to me. A little bit of a jug there. Oh my gosh, the big laser already coming out. I didn't know he started with the big laser. Oh my gosh, Rob. Just looking so crazy. Has such big moves. Joker already at 47%. Well, already has arson. True, already has arson. Bringing it back. Taking 40% off of the Rob. Ooh, Rob looking for something right there. Ooh, not able to get off the laser. Red Comet able to punish prior to that. Just a normal get up, but that's a great grab for Red Comet. Forward tilt to follow up. Trying to get Rob to fall off the edge. But Rob just has such a good recovery. Already at 118%. Oh my gosh. Red Comet is cooking. He's feeling it. At 130%. Needs to be careful, Rob. Oh, there's the grab. The recovery. Able to escape the Rob's edge guard. Makes it back to somewhat neutral. There's the big laser. Good shield. Red Comet is definitely going to want to try to pick up one stock here just to keep the one stock lead. Oh, that was close from the Rob. That was extremely close. Trying to get the down tilt through the stage. He has Arson. He could kill here, but the up smash from Rob taking out Red Comet. And that's going to be an even 3-3 three to three stocks once again, as close as you can get. We send out dust, right? I think we send out dust. <laughs> I don't know who else we send out. We would have had to uh, announce a substitution in between games. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it will be dust as the last player on Min Min Arms. Potentially. Potentially. Oh, unless he pulls out his link. This is true. It will be Min Min. All right, fair enough. I kind of figured fair it was going to be Min Min. Yeah, no, I I assumed as well, but I just wanted to, you know. He has other champs. He's not just a Min Min player. <laughs> other champs. This guy's a, what are you, a League of Legends player? That's crazy. What do you call him? Other. I was going to say just character. Other character? Yeah, other bros? <laughs> it's Super Smash Bros. Yeah. They're, so you're, they're, you're right. They're bros. Got to be. Every character is a bro. Precisely. All right, so after setting up Dust Minimum, we'll be banning, or they will ban Town and City, Smash Bros, Hollow Bastion. This is going to be CEI to pick the final stage. Final stage here in set number two. Will we see a set number three? That's the question. That is, the question. That is a question. We'll just have to see. Will Dust... Give us a game three or not. I mean, you could do it for content. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just strong. playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Three stocks. Three stocks. Min Min versus Rob. I'd love to see Dust finish it out strong. Three, two, one. But if this Rob is as good as you say he is, it'll be a tough battle for sure. 
but Min Min already doing so much damage, keeping Rob off the stage, not even allowing him to play the game. Already put at 60%. Oh my gosh, 70. And Min Min with the arms. Just doing so much damage, keeping Rob off the stage still. down smash. Rob at 109%. Trying to get the lead, but Rob taking his time with his recovery. Ooh, okay. Oh, huge grab from him and the back throw. Trying to finish them off here. Chasing them off ledge. Oh, and it looked like he tricked the Rob for a second. He kind of forgot he was falling, but he will not get the stock yet. He is at 140% though. It's so close. Shield. Yep. There you go. Finally the kill. 183 on the rod just to secure the first stock here in this match. One stock lead for CEI. Dust is going to want to keep this as clean as possible to get some percentage up on the board. Maintain to a lot of, maintain to maintain these three stocks for as long as possible can. Rob did have a little bit of hope in the start where he was able to take the stage, but just able to take it back. Jeez. Huge grab range. How rude! Oh, the chase by Rob. I don't mind it. I respect it. Do not mind it. But then there was a great recovery. Great match start. And just the That's a good team. move. However, just like I said, Dust moving into now his with with two stocks remaining, and Rob already at 113 percent, kind of holding on to his two stocks right now. It's gonna be up to Dust to really try to punish. Dust just needs to play safe here. Get rid of that stock. Play to win. Play, play to, win. to win. Don't play, don't to, play win. to lose. Don't play to not lose. Don't play to play win. Play to not lose. There you go. Rob has control of the stage. Oh, he will miss. Giving the stage pressure back to Dust. Oh, huge grab from Dust. And to the up throw. Looking for oh. the punch and that air dodge coming up from Rob. Oh, stopping the laser. Oh, misses the grab, and Rob takes advantage. There's an opportunity there. Oh, oh okay. The reflect. <laughs> and Dustin just keeping the pressure on this Rob, not even allowing him to play the game, and that's going to be Rob moving on to his last stock. Does this going crazy? The dragon and the hammer fist do so much damage when in combination with each other. Oh, misses the grab. Rob takes the stage control back, keeping Min Min off for now. Oh, and there's the grab into the throat. Tries to Ooh, land the wow. laser, but great job dodging and the read from Rob. But the DI not able to not able to fully kill there. Okay. Arms using the legs and he chases all the way off stage. Keeping Rob off for now. Okay. Ooh, the DI from Rob. Barely keeping it alive right now. Oh my gosh. It's so close. The spot dodge though. Gold players on keeping me on the edge of my seat, I should say. Rob. Oh, yeah. And that's gonna be it. CEI taking the dub against Poppyville with two stocks remaining. That's a 2 0. That is gonna be a 2 0 for CEI. Well played to CEI. Well played to Coffeeville. Those were such exciting games. GG's to both teams. Thank you, everybody. For tuning in today watch on the super smash brothers team 
Take on Coffeyville. That is a clean sweep, though. That's 2-0 for the side of CEI. So that's going to be it from us here. We will have a stream tomorrow. We'll be broadcasting League of Legends. Am I correct? That is correct. League of Legends stream tomorrow, Friday, 3 p.m. Be there or be square. Or you could be a triangle. We don't care as long as you oh, show square. up and watch. We love seeing you guys out here supporting us. But yeah, that's going to be it. CEI with the clean 2-0 sweep against Coffeyville. Is there anything else you want to say before we uh, tune out of here? I think that's it for me. Everybody, have a good night. Have a good night, y'all. We appreciate you. And we'll uh, see you tomorrow.